Welcome to the demo of Unified Communications with Microsoft Office Communicator. Today we are going to talk about the features that will be available to you immediately as you upgrade your client to the Microsoft Office Communicator 2007, also known as the Mock Client. Mock Client looks similar to its predecessor, but there are many hidden features, some of which we'll be going to be talking about today. First, the concept of jelly beans things like this. Beyond just red, yellow, green, you now have half-centered um, jelly beans such as these. So a half green and yellow means that you're not in a meeting but away from a desk. These now match up to what you see in the office suite 2007. Since there's richer presence you have an option of tagging each person as a personal, team, company, public, or blocked. That will determine how much information that you're sharing with that individual if the person is within the company or outside the company. Also note that the same client can be used to communicate with AOL, Hotmail, Yahoo, or even federated partners such as Microsoft or other companies. Okay, let's start with a situation where I'm working with a support person, in this case Raquel, and we're going back and forth over email. So rather than eating up your mail quota, wouldn't it be good that, uh, for you to be able to click on the jelly bean and I am the person and be able to talk to the person in real time. Well, now you can. All you do is go ahead and click on the person's name and reply with an instant message. Hi. Can you please help me? And there in real time, Raquel is ready to help me. We can be working, go back and forth in IM and try to resolve the problem. Many times when you're doing that, you also want to show a log file that you might have captured. Well, the best way to do that, rather than trying to send these lengthy log files over email, you can do this very easily using the Microsoft Office Communicator. All you need to do is take the file and drag it into your window and it starts sending the file as soon as she accepts receiving the file. There you see it's transferring the file and without eating up your mail quotas or anything the file is transferred to Raquel and she can view that file. Okay so far so good. Now if you need a third person to help you debug this well, you don't have to kind of uh, drop out and create a conference call and that kind of stuff. All you need to do is invite the person to your IM session. And you do that by clicking on the invite, invite a contact. In this case, we're going to uh, invite Mark Dial. You can either type the person and they'll narrow your list down, or you can just pick the person from this list. So in this case, we're going to pick Mark. And as you see, it's automatically started a three-way conference with me being the leader. And all three of us are here in this session. So I'm going to say hi again. And Raquel is, uh, is typing the message. You can see, and Mark is typing a message. Hello. Everybody can see each other, and we can be working in real time to solve the problem. Now, if, if I am is not enough, and you need to talk to all three parties, all you need to do is go over here and start communicator. You don't have to jump out, start a um, uh, inner call session or any audio conferencing session. It's simple as click off a button. Go ahead and do that and everybody gets into the conference. Can you hear me guys? There you see all three of them are in the conference call. 
Hi Raquel, hi Mark. Thank you for participating in this demo. So that's, uh, that's how easy it is. And we can all be talking and uh, resolving this problem. Now, if that's not sufficient, I need to be able to see my desktop. If they need to be able to see my desktop to be able to debug my problem, well, no more live meeting. Um, all you need to do is click on this share my desktop and it starts a what is called a desktop sharing, sharing session and you see all three of them can see all three of us can see uh, my desk and my desktop if I need to give control to somebody so that they can uh, manipulate what's on my screen all I need to do is pull this thing down and give it let's say I'll give control to Raquel there you go Raquel please move the mouse to show that you have control there see she's got control to take back control all I need to do is go back up here and take back control it's easy as that last if you need to get hold of a partner so that uh, you need you know a fourth person in here who is not with Intel labs of a customer or a partner or something like that uh, into this, deb this debugging session all you need to do is invite by email click on that it's it opens your uh, email message go ahead and type whoever you need to send this thing to and say joeuser at att.com when they get that message they'll get this and uh, all they need to do is click on this join using a web browser and they'll be able to join just like a telaps person they'll be able to see uh, participate in the audio participate in the IM and participate uh, in the desktop sharing session. It's as easy as that. Regardless, there are no boundaries anymore. With all this help at the touch of a finger, the problem will definitely be resolved in a collaborative and a timely manner. One last thing I also wanted to demonstrate is not only can this be done as, as an impromptu meeting, but you can also schedule this by clicking on scheduling a conference call and it's going to bring up hold on a second any moment now it should bring that up I'll schedule a conference call and you can invite all the parties and they'll get the same email and you'll be able to join using communicator or joining using a web browser if you're outside the telelabs and it can be scheduled for any time Thank you again for watching this brief demo of the features available to you immediately as you upgrade your client to the Microsoft Office Communicator. Thank you.